Hey guys, welcome back to Tanuki Dookie. Today we're doing another unboxing. I've had the PlayStation VR ever since it came out. I was one of the early adopters and I thought it was really cool. I have the PlayStation Worlds pack, so I did like the underwater thing and that was really awesome. And I tried a couple of the others and generally kind of got motion sick. I tried some of the demos online and generally got motion sick. So I kind of gave it up for a while. It to me wasn't really worth feeling sick and getting all sweaty and plus there's that whole wire mess. Recently my family, I got them one a PlayStation VR for Christmas because my dad had been wanting one for a while and I saw a good deal around Black Friday. And so I got them one and they've been getting big into Beat Saber. So I went over there one day and they were like, hey man, you gotta you gotta check it out. So I did and I played a few songs and I didn't feel sick which has kind of led me to believe maybe it depends on the game and at the beginning maybe I was just picking bad games that you know all led me to feel motion sick so I started playing my PlayStation VR again much to my frustration the camera tracking has really been getting on my nerves um, playing Beat Saber and my lightsaber like you know it's going like this and then all of a sudden it kind of goes limp like this behind me and middle of a song when you're going like dancing all around it's, it sucks like I can't get into the game it just makes me frustrated um I've tried playing with the camera I've tried moving it around I just can't get it to work the way I need it to um some of that may have to do forgive the cats Jesus um some of that may have to do with the setup I have so I when I first got the PlayStation VR I was using it in the living room which you know, has a real wide room and tons of space, tons of room in front of the TV. And I don't remember there being a lot of issues. However, as you know, and as I've already kind of said, the PlayStation VR has a ton of wires and mess. And, um, you know, you can see I'm in my loft now and there's tons of geeky things all around. And that's how the basement is too, where I usually film. Our main level, we kind of keep a little more traditional. So we do have a PlayStation there, but it's you know, we try and keep it minimal and, you know, more about just the normal household look. Um, my wife likes that and, you know, I don't mind it too. So having that big wire mess that I have to deal with every day and, you know, put away and blur, it, it sucks. So I decided to move it to the basement, which is a pretty big room still, um, but it does not have as much room from the TV to the other side of the wall. Um, the basement half of the space is taken up by the garage so it's really about a half width compared to the living room which you know has tons of space so i've been i've just been trying to get it to work down there and it's not really working and it's frustrating me and i can't take it anymore so i started looking into alternatives and i know like the vive and especially now the valve index are like top notch i don't want to deal with all this mess again that's the problem with the vr the playstation vr so I started looking into this bad boy. Uh, there's probably some glare. Yep, definitely lots of glare. Uh, but this is the Oculus Quest. Uh, this came out sometime last year, and it was a big, you know, top Christmas item. So it's kind of been sold out. I've seen, you know, just like everything else, it's going to be affected by coronavirus and you know manufacturing in China. But um, I did manage to see some available in Best Buy a few weeks ago actually last weekend and I was thinking about it but wasn't really sure yet and then I ended up being off one day this week um, just because I couldn't sleep and started thinking about it some more and started watching some videos and I'm like ah, I need it I need it and so I went to go order it and when well, you know it's out of stock again so I clicked that little notify me when it's available and maybe two hours later it said it was available um, and today I picked it up. So um, I ended up getting the 64 gig model. There is a 128 gig model. It's $100 higher, but watching videos, it seems like everyone gets this one. So why would I get the other one? Um, I can just uninstall and reinstall games as I need to. You know, that's fine. So anyway, that was a big rant. And now, sorry about that, you know, but now we're going to dig in and go ahead and open this bad boy up, um, see what's inside. And then I'm going to follow this up probably in about a week or so and give my thoughts and whether or not you guys should pick one up. So let's get into it. All right, 
now you can see it without the glare. It might be backwards. I'm using my my um, frontal camera so I can kind of see. Um, it's got this nice slip cover. Shows some games. Vader Immortal. I heard that's fun, but I also heard it might make you motion sick. So I might try it. We'll see. Um, Sports Scramble, Dance Central, National Geographic, Dead and Buried 2, and Creed Rise to Glory. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, just slide that top off, and then uh, in here we have everything. So we have two controllers. And these controllers are kind of we like weird. I guess the circle helps with tracking. Um, it feels pretty comfortable though. It's got like a, uh, sorry, an analog stick, a B and an A button, like a start button, a trigger on the side, and then a trigger on the back. Um, the only thing I've heard bad about these, oh no, of course it has a wrist strap. Every controller has one now since the Wii. <laughs> um, and it has like which hand it's for. Um, so the only negative I've heard about this, and yep, I can see that that's going to be a problem, is the battery cover. Um, it's magnetic and kind of very weak magnets, so it slides off very easily. Um, minor annoyance. Um, you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. And here's the left controller, and pretty much everything's the same. Um, obviously, except the buttons on the opposite side, and it has a Y and an X button instead and kind of a like menu button but they feel pretty comfortable um they recently on the oculus quest made it to where you don't even need to use controllers if you don't want to uh you can actually just use your hands and it does really cool hand tracking so I, i'm interested to try that out um and then we have the device so not much to it um there's kind of this strap that goes up and down some straps you adjust on either side strap on the top um, and then pretty much you just put it on your face it has some buttons I'm assuming that this one it's kind of like a minus and plus it's probably for volume and then I believe this one just drags the eye eyeglasses closer together um, I'm not going to show that because I'm gonna wait to take that off till I go downstairs um, the other complaint I've heard about this is the like stuff that goes around your face it's all cloth, um, which means it's probably pretty comfortable, but if you're playing something like Beat Saber, you're going to get sweaty, and it's just going to soak in, and no way to get it out. So there's some aftermarket products, and I will probably be purchasing one of those pretty soon, depending on how much I like this, um, because that's kind of gross, and I don't like that. Um, then there's this box, which I'm assuming just has like a charging cable. Yep, so we got standard like USB-C, um, like you get with say a Pixel. You got this thingy, which I'm assuming has to do with the mask. You got a very long charging cable. That's pretty cool. So I don't have to worry about having it too close. Ooh, and some batteries. I did not think it would come with some. Um, and then some book of some sort probably just safety and warranty no one reads that and then a reference guide which people only read if they have they have a problem um the packaging is very simple but you know it, it works uh no complaints here about that um one other thing that they did release recently for the oculus quest is a cable which does not come with it and I've heard it's a little bit pricey if you get the Oculus version, but supposedly you don't need to get that version. Um, but anyway, that cable allows you to hook it to a computer. So the whole benefit of this Oculus Quest is I don't need to be hooked up to anything. It's got cameras right here, 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 and here. Um, and it's running off a mobile processor, um, and a whole, the whole device is here. But if for some reason... You want to play a game that this can't play, you can hook it up to the computer let the computer process it. So that's a pretty cool idea. Kind of makes you wonder, what's the point of the other Oculuses? <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I'm really excited to try this out. 
Um, the quality of the construction seems pretty legit. Um, I mean, there's obviously not much to it, but you know, no complaints here. It seems to, you know, serve its intended purpose. Um, we'll do a quick try on. Uh, I definitely need to adjust these straps. So, um, wouldn't like to say I have a big head, but many have said it. So, um, but it feels pretty, you know, pretty comfortable in my face. It's not too bad. Um, I have heard it's people complain it's a little front heavy because there's not much to this. And there's like a weight you can buy to kind of put on the back. Some people do crazy things like strap a battery pack. To, I'm not doing that. Um, I might buy the weight. We'll see. But anyway, that's the Oculus Quest um, unboxing. Pretty cool device. Um, if you're interested in purchasing it, it is still hard to get right now. But do what I did. Go on Best Buy. Hit that notify bell. Maybe you'll get lucky like I did. Um, it is starting to restock, apparently, even though I've heard shortages are still coming. So, you know, keep your eye out. Hit that notification. Follow up on it quick. It was available at least for like a half hour after that notification came. I actually ordered the bigger one at first and then watched some more videos and realized everyone's getting the small one. Why am I going to spend an extra 100 bucks? And I switched to this one. Um, but anyway, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Keep your eye out in a few weeks. Maybe about a week, um, depending on how much playtime I get to have with this. Actually, I have a long weekend coming. Uh, probably the weekend that you're watching this. So um, I'll get a lot of playtime, and hopefully we'll post one next weekend, uh, giving my initial thoughts. Definitely plan to pick up Beat Saber. Going to see what else is out there. Um, and hopefully I find some games that don't make me feel so sick. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching Tanuki Dookie. Got some more videos coming your way soon. I know there's been kind of a drought. Stick with me. Got some more quality content coming your way. Um, even some more Pokemon card stuff as well for those that are interested. Um, shout out to the my brother's friend in Ohio who recently, I guess, bought Pokemon cards because of me. That's pretty cool. Um, stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. Bear with me. I know it's been a little bit. I'm getting back to it. All right. See you guys.